Our next story is about a Moses Lake man using his skills with a chainsaw to create works of art out of tree stumps. Reporter Jeff Chu has the story. Moses Lake artist Francisco Kiki Zuniga picked up a chainsaw for the first time a month ago and started carving statues from tree stumps. His first attempt at the art form was a rooster cut from a V-shaped stump. He quickly moved on to his second work of art, a band of mariachis carved from five poplar tree stumps. The work is finely detailed right down to the poplar roots he used to give hair and mustache to one of the figures. Hidden away, you can find cactus, jugs of tequila, even a plate of limes. Dwayne, um, he owns this park and uh, he had some trees that had broken, fallen, you know, and he had the stumps and uh, I just happened to tell him one day that I could uh, make a mariachi band out of it. And uh, at first, you know, it seemed like he didn't believe me, but I did the first mariachi and he was like, wow, you know, you should do the rest of them. Chainsaw carving seems to come naturally for Zuniga. Well, actually, I just happened to tell Rolando, a friend of mine, that this stump here looked like a rooster. So actually, this is the first time I've ever used a chainsaw to, to make some artwork. And uh, this is what it turned out to look like. Pretty simple. For me, I mean, it just comes natural, I guess, you know, because I see it, you know. I mean, I saw them, I knew what they were going to look like before I even started them, you know. So, I yeah. mean, I, I can't explain it, but, you know, it's there in my head. <laughs> the statues can be found at Zamora Park, a private recreation area hidden away in an industrial zone near State Route 17. The Moses Lake Park is owned by the Zamora family, which uses it for private events. Dwayne Zamora, a Moses Lake construction company owner, recalled how he learned about Zuniga's project at his family's park. Uh, I go, Roland, what's that kid doing over there chopping on that tree? <laughs> and uh, Roland goes, just leave him alone. He says he's going to do a rooster or some kind of bird. I said, oh, okay, okay. About a couple hours later, you know, I came and I see the actual figure of the, I said, whoa. Let him keep going, Roland. <laughs> Rolando Odame, the park's groundskeeper and Zuniga's friend, said he was impressed with the artist's speedy work. Well, we're sitting at the kitchen table, and uh, he looked out the window and said, I see a rooster. And I said, I see a slingshot. <laughs> and then he says, you got a chainsaw or something I can cut it with? And I said, I got a little one. And so two and a half hours later or so, he had a shape of a rooster out there that fast. And I was amazed by his work and speed of it, too. The park, which overlooks a natural area and wetlands, is seeing some upgrades with Zamora building a fountain near the park's bandstand. Zuniga said a decorative fence and lighting will be placed around the mariachi statues. Zuniga says he's an artist for hire with painting portraits being his first love. Zuniga can be contacted through Zamora's company, Big Max Construction, at 509-771-3595. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back.